How does focus distance affect depth of field? Well, let's say you've got your camera here and you're shooting this way. We'll represent what's in focus using these two rods. The one closest to the camera starts what's in focus, and the rod farthest from the camera ends what's in focus. So, everything between these two rods is what's in focus. Everything which is outside falls out of focus. The farther objects are from the start or the end of the in focus area, the more out of focus they can appear. Now, the main thing to understand about focus distance is that as you focus closer to the camera, that is, your subject being closer to the camera, the shallower, the narrower the depth of field will be. And as you focus farther from the camera, moving your subject away from the camera, the larger, the greater the depth of field will be. Now, every lens has a point at which, if you focus far enough away, the depth of field drops off into infinity, leaving everything from the front focus point and beyond in focus. And this is what we refer to as the hyperfocal distance. Now, for demonstration purposes, let's say we've got uh, some dolphins, some sugar, and my morning tea. Now, say we have our depth of field as such. Obviously, the dolphins are the only thing in focus. But say we have dialogue for everyone here. Well, we can either rack focus to each of them as they speak, or we can increase the depth of field to include all of them. Now, say for some reason you cannot use your aperture to do that. What you can do is either move them closer together, or you can move them all farther from the camera. Keep in mind, however, that if you move them back, but then zoom in with a longer focal length and to maintain your field of view, that will not change the depth of field because of the inverse relationship between the focal length and the focus distance to your subject. Another thing to keep in mind is how much space you want to give your actors to work in. Keep in mind how much they move or how bulky they are. Say my T is facing this way, it needs this much depth of field to stay in focus, assuming he stays perfectly still. But then he turns this way, he needs this much depth of field to stay in focus. But then again, you might choose a narrower depth of field for a stylistic purpose, and that's up to you. So those are the things to keep in mind, that the distance to the lens determines how much or how little is in focus, which then we call the depth of field, that you can focus to infinity with hyperfocal, and then to decide how much playroom to give your subject. This has been Darren Levine, MediaHell.com, giving you another quick tip. Happy shooting.